My name is Alina and this happened three weeks ago. One night my husband came home and told me that he's got something for me. It was a baby monitor, one of the fancy video ones. I asked him if my 3 a.m. visits to the nursery were starting to bother him, to which he replied with a smile, maybe a little, and that he thought this might help us both sleep better. I glanced at the sleek white baby monitor box and said, okay, let's do it. We set it up in the nursery that night. I pointed the camera right at the crib and placed the monitor at the nightstand. I fell asleep watching the video feed of our son peacefully sleeping in his cot. I jolted awake. I quickly looked at the monitor. The feed showed James sleeping, looking like a little angel. I smiled and fell back into a deep sleep. The next night, as John and I were getting ready for bed, I asked him if he heard the weird noise coming from James' room last night. John seemed a bit worried and wondered if we got mice again in the house. I hadn't even thought about that until he said so. I started getting anxious and told John that I should sleep in James' room tonight, just in case because I didn't want mice getting into the crib. John said that I didn't need to because I have the monitor, but I was still not satisfied. He frowned and told me that I was overreacting and getting anxious for no reason. It wasn't my anxiety. I was just concerned about our child's well-being. But John didn't understand and kept saying that I shouldn't be concerned so much and relax. We had a bit of an argument and finally I decided to just leave it and slept. I woke up again at 3 a.m. Instinctively, I reached for the baby monitor. The red light blinded me in the darkness. I waited for my eyes to adjust. There was my little man facing away from the camera, with his little tifts of hair sticking every which way, sleeping peacefully. I set the monitor back down on the nightstand and closed my eyes. My eyes flew open. James was facing towards me now. Eyes closed peacefully. Puffy little cheeks smushed against the soft pillow. Alina, sleep. He's fine. Stop checking him again and again. I thought maybe John has a point. I forced my eyes closed. He's fine. The fog of sleep filled my mind melting my thoughts into dreamy nonsense. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Don't check on him. Just go to sleep. A loud cry came through the wall. When I looked in the monitor, I saw that James was laying in the same position. But despite the cries coming from the nursery, his mouth was closed. What the hell? I leaped out of bed and grabbed the doorknob and yanked it open, running blindly into the room. Get away from him! <laughs> Within a matter of seconds, the woman slipped out the window. I grabbed James out of the crib, held him tight against my chest. John came stumbling in. Call the police! Someone was in here! As I held James tight against me, something caught my eye. The baby monitor camera, its red light blinking in the darkness. There was something propped up in front of it. I reached out and turned it over. It was a photo. A photo of my son sleeping peacefully in his crib. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you again with another creepy story. Until then, bye!